Hallo, Katrin hier with European Paper Crafts in the US. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I have two brand new paper packs for you, the uh, ephemera that comes with it and six cards that I have created. So let's get started. So new in my shop are these two brand new cardstock packs from P13. One is called The Birdhouse and the other one Have Fun. And both of them you can see are in this beautiful pastel colors, just perfect for summer. Um, I have created cards with the Have Fun because it was so much fun. The Birdhouse came in just a little bit later. Uh, it's available now and we're going to do a quick flip through. So both paper packs are six by six they have 24 double-sided sheets in there. There are six uh, designs. So basically there are 12 designs because they're double-sided. But six sheets, uh, four sheets of each of the designs. And here, let's just go through the birdhouse really quick. As always with P13, you have the fuzzy cut items on the cover. Then we have this beautiful blossoms here. In the back, just uh, white colors on a um, pink background. Gorgeous birdhouse designs. And I can see cards with the easy 3D toppers. We have birdhouses there and also relief stickers. Here you can cut apart or you can die cut these out with your, you know, if you have a circle cut or maybe a square cut, just pretty. If you don't want to cut, then you have this gorgeous overall design, all flowers, just very pretty. Then here, I uh, can, maybe you can see it has just a very faint uh, white design on this blue paper. Here we have the cutter parts. They always are very handy if you don't want to buy the uh, matching ephemera. These are cut out very easily, straight lines. We have this distressed background. Almost looks like a wall, but in all these pretty colors or like rock. And then we got feathers as well. And I believe then it starts over again. Or oh, here we have in the back of the feathers, we have a very faint, I don't know, the camera doesn't pick it up, uh, music design. So very pr uh, pretty for uh, shabby chic cards. And then here it starts over again. And matching uh, for the birdhouse, we got the garlands. And uh, these are beautiful die cuts and they make focal points for your cards. So these are also available and I will link it below. But now let's go to the have fun because this is the one that I made cards with. And for the birdhouse, uh, I'm probably gonna make cards too and share them later. But here's the have fun. This one, same thing, six by six, 24 double-sided sheets. And uh, let's just look in here. On the uh, inside cover, you got these beautiful frames that you can cut out and they look like uh, Polaroids. How fun are these? I think they are just beautiful and so quick to cut out. You don't need to have any skills. And then we have this retro uh, record player here. We got this uh, camera, the Polaroid camera, then this beautiful design. We got roller skates, so fun. Flowers, ice cream sundaes, more beautiful flowers. Look at this, we got these beams and all these beautiful pastel colors and then we got the fuzz, uh, fuzzy cuts here. And look how gorgeous they are. They are just super, super beautiful. I love them. Uh, the cassette here, the tape. Yeah, here's the record player. Oh, look at this. The old uh, boom box there. What else? We got the ice cream sundae. Of course, the roller skates. An old uh, rotary telephone. Um, there are die cuts. So if you are not into fuzzy cutting, you can find them as die, uh, these as die cuts too. And then we have the cut aparts here. And 
just a pink and white background and then we got these beautiful polaroids hanging on a line to dry how fun is that and then on the back and this is one of my favorites are all these cassette tapes in all these different colors and they're so fun to cut apart and then it starts over now matching we have the bits and pieces ephemera pack and you can see what is on here so all these things that you can actually cut out from the paper pack you will also find as already die cut then we have the fun tickets and these were very popular for the uh, farm sweet farm um, line i love these and yeah and now let's see what i have created with them so again this is the have fun line and i made six cards and here is my first card and i have uh, created this with of course the beautiful cardstock so there is a six by six cardstock and I uh, scored it off at four inches. So now I have a card that is four and then I have a two inch panel here and made that into like a cutaway part because I wanted to show off these beautiful cassette tapes. I used one of the Polaroid frames and it is covered by my front. So what I have done here is I used uh, some of the background paper and cut it into a shape of a tag and this is basically my flip here my my cover and then I embellished it with the die cuts that came in the die cut pack and we have these fun sunglasses here time to relax is also uh, a cut apart we got the uh, boom box one of the tickets and then um, one of the little flower here that I die cut. And then of course we have um, this tag and I just full stitched it around. I forgot to show you in this paper pack on the back, there are gorgeous flowers you can fuzzy cut. And um, I, have, I have fuzzy cut some of these. So these are also available. But if you look into the uh, into the ephemera, yeah, you can find these flowers. You can find, you know, tapes, and then here are the uh, roller skates, little camera. So some of it comes from the die cut pack. Some of them I fuzzy cut. But you can see this. You cannot tell which one is which because. Um, you know they're almost the same so if you're into fuzzy cutting the the pack will do for you but you can also get these as um, die cuts and then here are some of the tickets that come in the pack uh, look how fun they are they come in different sizes and some even have some sentiments on there here is just one of the cut parts so you can see look at this this is um, this one here so much fun right beautiful so that's what that is and then here over here what I have put in here is when I had scraps left I have a tag punch so rather than having the, the uh, scraps around I just punched uh, some tags and since since they are double-sided the paper you know you got the different uh, tags available okay but yeah, this is this card and it's a cutaway card and I think it came out so, so cute. It just screams summer to me, the colors and all these uh, retro. Well, to me, I remember all this. I don't know how retro it is, but for some of you, it might be totally retro seeing a boombox or seeing roller skates and a record player and especially a, a dial. Look at this one here, the dial phone. <laughs> All right, so my next card, and here it is, I had to use these fun roller skates. And uh, what I have done here is same thing. I use the uh, six by six as my card blank, and I scored it again at two inches, basically same as I have done before. I'm covering up my spot where I write my message. This is another of the Polaroid from the inside of the cover. I think they're so clever. 
best day ever it's pretty and then i have now uh, created another little card in here so here i can show off this pretty record player of course the back of the card looks just as pretty and then there is another little spot where you can uh, write a message and then of course on the front i have layered some of the bits and pieces and here are the roller skates happy is a tag and then i just uh, cut out with my scallop punch a background so it kind of doesn't flow into the colors because they're the same so i wanted to have a little bit of a um, background here that this pops out and i uh, inked the edges to give it more definition and there is this card okay let's see what else i have made this one with this beautiful ice cream sundae so so delicious looking all right now you already know what i have done here i used one of the six by six card blanks this is the one and look how gorgeous these colors are but this time i just um scored one inch of each side so i still have a, a card that is four inches wide and six inches long so fits in uh, those envelopes but now i have almost like a gatefold and then it closes with this panel here and this panel is just simply another piece of cardstock where i um, just cut the corners made them really pretty and then here i embellished it with this beautiful uh, sunday self-love club i love this one of my um, punch out and then just some flat back pearls that i offer in my shop these are really really pretty and um, let me see if i can find a bag i can show it to you okay so here i found uh mine that i'm using and look how pretty they are so there is a bag that comes in uh, with pink and some with uh, blue and these are all flat bags so they're easy they're not adhesive so you just use a drop of your liquid adhesive and then look how shiny they are yeah very very pretty so i love those and they come in all sizes this is um, this one here would be the biggest size right and then every size in between two very small okay so here we have it uh the pearls and then i just added a panel here and this is the same uh corner cut let me see what i use so this is a stamping up uh corner punch um, you have this beautiful design here and then just a regular uh, triangle if you want to make just a regular tag and then you also have that little slot where you would pull your string through this is how it looks and i don't know if they still have it i'm sure uh, there's something similar out there but um, you can see how pretty uh, these corners are and that's what i have done here so this is the same design as my outside tag but it is hidden because I, of course, used a bigger one, uh, a bigger piece of cardstock. And now, of course, my panel is bigger and it hides my writing panel. And it all looks pretty because look, the inside, this is the great thing. If you have double sided cardstock, uh, the inside is also just as pretty. But there is more. Then next I have created a card blank from some very faint sea foam uh, cardstock and I added a white panel. On that white panel I added some sea foam or greenish ribbon. Then I had a piece of glittered cardstock. I cut out just a little sliver and put it through my paper crimper just to give it a little bit more interest. And then I added uh, a doily that I cut from the beautiful cardstock. I inked the edges and then I just created this collage of the beautiful die cut pieces and uh, ended it up with another little bow from the same uh, type or the same color ribbon. It's all layered up for dimension with dimensional uh, 
double-sided adhesive and yeah here it is I think it looks so fun and then when you open it up you, there is your card so you can certainly make regular cards if you don't want to use the cardstock for your card blanks um, I think six by six cardstock is always great to create your own card blanks if it is uh, sturdy enough and this one is for sure but you can always of course uh, use your other cards and then just layer it upon them and here you can see for the um, beautiful pearls look how tiny they get and I think they look like little drops of dew so pretty and then I added some glitter uh, stickles just to finish it off okay then um, next here I have uh, done basically the same again. I used one of the six by six card stocks, scored it at a two inch uh, mark. And then here I have this punch. You already know that I use it so often for my inside panel, but then I didn't have a bigger punch to cover this, right? This is um, my biggest punch I have. So what I did is I just used two instead so that I can cover up the uh, inside. And this is just, you know, two on top of each other and then a smaller one for the background of my die cuts. Maintain balance, I thought it was so fun, you know, with the roller skates and then um, another uh, ribbon here. And this is my fun card. There is the ice cream uh, sundae, the beautiful flowers and the roller skates. And then for my last card here, I used up my scraps. So what I have done here, I created, first of all, two embellishments with my scraps. So I have these hard punches and I layer them. So the first layer is from glittered cardstock. Then I used my second hard punch that is a little bit smaller with the cardstock from the pack. And then this flower cluster here is also uh, two different punches. Uh, again with glittered cardstock and then here this little pearl to finish it off. I did that again for down here. So now I have two embellishments. Now for this card, same thing. I used one of the uh, card blanks and this one here has this pretty uh, pink background. But the inside, I have uh, now used some parchment paper. Uh, this would be the inside of my card and of course it's hard to put a sentiment down here if you want to write something happy birthday or whatever so that wouldn't work but if you put some um, parchment paper then yes you tone this down and now I can easily write my message right here on the parchment and then what I have done here I added another layer so I made this one is normally only the two inch wide um, remember that's what we um, scored off but I made it a little larger by adding a, a border from some other scrap that I had laying around and here it is this is a border uh, strip that I had and then I used my border punch and have the scalloped hard punch now and then all I did is added a couple pieces of the die cuts and um, some uh, you know, some mirror cardstock, I cut a little strip there just to cover up where these two meet, the seam where these two pieces of paper meet. And then one of the tickets, and there is my card with the parchment in there. So I think, and the parchment I cut to six by six, and then also scored it at a two inch mark and then I glued it on this side of the card. So this one here, you know, the recipient can still see the beautiful artwork here, but the message would sit right here on the parchment. So that's that card. So I think another fun um, way to use up all the beautiful bits and pieces when um, you have it on your craft table and you, you know, you want to work with your scraps. And here are the six cards that I have created for today's video. I had a lot of fun making them. I hope you like them. Let me know which one is your favorite. I would really appreciate 
uh, that you give me a thumbs up if you like this video, leave me a comment and maybe share this video with your crafty friends and family that would support my channel. As always, these cards are up for grabs for a discount price in my shop. So if you're interested, please come and grab them. Uh, but this is all I have for you today. Thank you for spending time with me. Please stay or get well. Happy crafting and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.